Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views. Now, before I get into today's video, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as most of you guys watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. We're very close to reach 300,000 subscribers, so that would really help out a lot. So I would really appreciate if you could just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, in today's video, we're talking about iOS 16. I know there are a few months to go until the release of the first beta of iOS 16, but of course, the rumors leaks reports and all that start way earlier and we should get a very exciting update this year so let's get started and let's see everything that we know regarding ios 16. First of all, we're talking about supported devices. We have a report claiming that the oldest devices that are currently supported by iOS 15, the iPhone SE, of course, the original one, and the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus won't make it this year and they won't be supported by iOS 16. I'm not surprised at all. I was really surprised when Apple did support these devices with iOS 15, but it looks like that's it and iOS 15 will be actually the latest iOS software to be able to be installed on those devices so if you have one of those devices the original iphone se the iphone 6s or the 6s plus that's the end for those devices you won't be able to actually update to any new software if you own one of those devices even though ios 15 supported them and it's quite good of course they will release also updates in the future to actually fix bugs and stuff like that but you won't be able to update to ios 16. Now let's move on to the features that we can expect to see on iOS 16. Now currently we don't have an exact report or leak regarding any feature that will come to iOS 16, but we have a few hints from last year when actually there was some features that were supposed to come with iOS 15, but it looks like Apple has just put them and they will come later this year with iOS 16. And we have here some beautiful designs by Angelo Libero basically showing a few features that might come to iOS 16 and of course these concepts are just beautiful and very very realistic this is something that you might see on iOS 16 so I suggest you go ahead and give him a follow I will leave his social link right down below in the description of the video now first of all we're talking about the lock screen the possibility to actually launch apps from the lock screen and basically have a lock screen that will actually allow you to do much more like maybe the option to change profiles within your device, change diff to different accounts, or just launch any app that you want directly from the lock screen. There have been reports even last year with iOS 15 that there will be a total redesign of the lock screen. We didn't see that with iOS 15. Actually, we didn't see any redesign at all, just some smaller changes. But this year with iOS 16, hopefully everything will be different and we will see much more features added to the lock screen, which currently is basically useless. You won't actually be able to do anything on the lock screen with iOS 15 ex except of course seeing your notifications changing the focus and just turning on the flashlight or the camera and that's about it hopefully with iOS 16 we will see these changes which would be actually very very welcomed now some things that are really small but of course will have quite a huge impact are some features that Apple hopefully will finally add to iOS 16, like having the percentage of your battery right there on the status bar. We can see this concept right here. Basically, the design is perfect. You have there the icon for the battery, but you also have the percentage right there. So you can see how good that looks. That's something that Apple can really easily implement into iOS 16 and have everywhere your percentage of battery and not have to go to the control center or check out your widget on the home screen just to see how much battery you have left on your device. Now another thing that we might see on iOS 16 is the ability to have interactive widgets on the home screen of your device. Now basically these have been added with iOS 14 and we didn't see any change at all on the widgets with iOS 15 except like two or three new widgets which actually don't allow you to do much more than just basically show information on the home screen. But having a widget like this would be really useful. Now you can see this one that has been designed here by Andrew Little Barrow from the control center, have your toggles right there on the home screen. Switched on and off the airplane mode, mobile data, Wi-Fi, or your Bluetooth. That would be really perfect. And of course, this can be implemented with other apps as well and have the ability to maybe turn on alarms or do other stuff directly 
from the home screen without actually having to open the app at all that would be super super useful and i will expect apple to actually make a huge change on the home screen widgets with ios 16. a feature ios users have been asking for years now I don't understand why Apple doesn't offer this feature is the ability to actually lock your apps with Face ID. Now, there are some apps that actually allow you to lock like cer certain section of those apps with Face ID and you will have them listed under your Face ID settings. But officially, there is no feature to actually lock any app that you have on iOS using your Face ID or Touch ID, whichever device you have. Hopefully, this will change and we're expecting to actually see maybe this feature on ios 16. it would be really realistic if apple actually releases this that would be super useful a lot of people want to protect their apps even though of course you have the ability to lock your device not all the time your device will be locked but of course you have you would have the ability to lock individual apps and that would be much much better of course for your privacy and security of your data hopefully we will see this as well with ios 16. And this right here, this is a concept again by Angela Libero, most used apps. Now this would be really awesome. I don't know if Apple will actually make this and of course bring this to iOS 16, but this would actually look really, really cool. You can see right there, just like you have the app library on the iPad, you would have this on iOS and it will actually make really good sense. So you tap right there and your most used apps will open just like this. This would be super useful and will make it super simple for you to find the apps that you use the most because of course we might have tens of apps, maybe 100 apps on our device, but we mostly use like seven or eight apps all the time. So you would have them here right at your fingerprint. That would be really, really awesome. Moving on to the release date of iOS 16 beta and of course the final version of iOS 16. It's actually not that hard to predict the release dates if everything goes as every year everything goes to plan. We should see the first beta of iOS 16 I believe on June 6th. Last year we saw iOS 15 on June 7th. That was a Monday and this year I expect Apple to do the same basically in the first few days of the June, you will see the first beta of iOS 16 in WWDC 2022. And of course, that will most likely be June 6th. Even though we don't have an official date for that, that I'm 90% sure that that will happen on June 6th because I don't believe they will push it until the 13th and it will be a Monday. So I expect June 6th to be the release date of iOS 16 beta one. And then of course, in September, we should see iOS 16 getting released to the public and it's usually towards the end of September and I expect it to happen somewhere around September 19th or 20th. Last year we had the iOS 15 released on September 20th. I expect it to happen on September 19th or 20th this year as well. So these are the dates when it comes to the release of the first beta of iOS 16 and of course the final version of iOS 16. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. This is everything that we know currently regarding iOS 16 even though there is not a lot to talk about. There are some features that are really realistic and of course we can expect them to come to iOS 16 and of course we now have the report about the supported devices and we basically can guess the, the, the release dates for iOS 16 beta 1 and of course the final version of iOS 16. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.